The lawyer accuses AV of not being the real AV. You're my lawyer. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs>
Tifa Lockhart, gaming icon, and on the gentleman's side, surprisingly enough, was very high in the polls early, but then took a tumble down all the way to fourth, Sprinkles. Sprinkles, who has competed once with Pies, I believe, now will have an opportunity to fight again in the Golden Ticket matchups. Fifth place. On the ladies' side, we have the one and only, also from Has Been Hotel, which has seen a spike in popularity lately. It is Charlie. Charlie and Lucifer both here. And both could go on. We'll see if that happens, but on the gentleman's side. <laughs> It's Shrek! <laughs> Donkey! <laughs> it is the legendary Shrek! One on one, well, I mean, not one on one, we'll see some triple threats. And last but not least, sixth place. Who snagged the sixth place spot? Well, I'm gonna actually start with uh, entered on the gentleman side. It is the TBH creature. I can't say I'm surprised. I, you no, know, I can't say I'm surprised. I can't say I'm surprised. But I can say that I'm surprised, and Wins Davy has given me some information on this when it comes to sixth place. Sixth place will feature on the ladies' side a little bit of a shock because there was a tie. A tie between Monica from Doki Doki Literature Club and Spooky from Spooky's uh, mansion, jump scare mansion of House of Jump Scare. It's the Spooky Spooky Jump Scare game. <laughs> they both tied for sixth place, but what does that mean? Well, I've been told that Monica and Spooky will go one on one on the beaten path in the very first on the beaten path this coming Friday to determine who will get that spot. Will it be Spooky? Will it be Monica? I'm excited to find out. We'll be finding out. That's your top six. Those are all the folks that you guys voted in. A nice little mix of folks, I dare say myself. But that ain't all we got to announce just yet. We are one week away from the beaten path truly beginning, and we don't know who has that open challenge. And maybe it's because they haven't been able to contact anybody? Maybe it's because they've been locked away? Well, she's gonna try and break out. Escape your cell. Nahida, the Archon of the Dendro of Sumeru, will be holding an open challenge, no longer locked up. She will be trying to escape. And I think that's all I got to announce right now, right? I think so. I, I hope so. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we did the votes. We said our, our open challenge. And, oh, I guess the, the, the very last thing is, I mean... <clears throat> so, next week's really supposed to be on the... I mean, the first ever on the beaten path for this season. But, like, I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not gonna be here. I'm gonna be out and about. Because uh, that's WrestleMania weekend. So, sucks to suck. Oops. That's about it. But... You know, as you know, things happen. There are actual wrestling events where they have shows and they're on a tape delay. So instead of a live stream, you will have On the Beaten Path and it will be a premiere. I will still be likely in the chat and you'll get your polls and whatnot. We'll see what Twitch has available because I know there's a little check mark that says, is this pre-recorded content? So we might get it on the Twitch side too, so you can still gamble your pancakes. It'll be just like a regular live experience. You'll be interacting in the chat, and I'll be interacting with you in the chat. Uh, well, I guess when's Davey will be. <laughs> one day I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna take over, and he'll never see it coming, and I have my cowboy hat. I see it over there right there. So beautiful. Regardless, that's everything. Let's get on with the episode. <laughs> Make your picks first, second, and third, because uh, it's been a minute. And I can, oh no, we're actually zoomed in. I think we're all really set, which is crazy to me. Um, I guess I could, there was one more thing that I could announce, but you know what? I'll let that be a surprise. Asmir and Pablo have both selected who will be their partners. 
uh, for their upcoming matchup. That being said, it is what it is. We'll see what we'll see what unfolds. I am excited to see. It. Or I guess I'm, I really want to tell you guys, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the surprise for them. So it is, it, is, it is what it is. Things will happen, and it will be fine. That being said, I'm going to make my picks live chat. Hopefully, you've made yours. I'm going to make mine real quick. Uh, for first, I'm taking Dawn. I think it's the dawn of a new era, and Dawn is going to win the OC Championship. Second, I'm going to take Golden, because maybe the Golden Age isn't over yet. Perhaps that's the case. Uh, and Golden also reminds me of Golden Age from Civilization, <laughs> which is a fun game, fun game. Uh, lastly, I'm going to take Delaware. No, I'm not. I'm going to take Alex. I think I've jinxed Delaware <laughs> on at least one occasion, and I don't know if I want to do that again. Because <laughs> I like Delaware's design. I was like, yeah, I like Delaware's design. I'll pick Delaware. I can't do it twice. <laughs> just, to, just to ensure that there's no jinx on you this time, Delaware, I've made my picks. You guys have made yours. And without further ado, let's kick this doubleheader off. we got to get the show on the road, don't we? And the only way to do that, I think you guys already know how to do it. How do we do it? We do it a little bit like this. <laughs> Is this a ring fit? <laughs> I mean, I'm... <sighs> oh, wait, actually, hold on a minute. That's kind of a workout. Okay, no, I see it. My muscles are engaged. I feel that. On the stretch back. Okay. And I got to do the, the one that's behind the head. Uh, <sighs> okay, that one's tough, especially in this jacket. That, that ain't gonna happen. Ooh. Ooh, nope, nope, nope. That's that's too tight of a squ I don't ask questions anymore. Let's go ahead and do our thing. How many times, Asmir? <laughs> How many times? Just Ooh, no. Oh, that's one. Well, live chat. <laughs> chat. <laughs> Premiere chat rather. Um <laughs> Proper yikes! It's one time! Click. Uh oh! <laughs> Spaghetti! <laughs> well, let's see how this all plays out, I suppose. Shall we? Let's do it. 24 competitors, one shot. Let's see who wins this OC championship and walks in as OC champion this season. The Horn Bears, they're coming through here. They're walking through here. They're sounding those horns, aren't they? Are they? I think they are. They are! Sound the horns. Chat, let me see the the, the 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 trumpet and the and the French horn emojis. Any emojis they got in there. They they gotta add a trombone emoji one of these days. I was the lone trombone, I'll tell you what. <laughs> one day I'm gonna break my trombone out. Maybe I'll buy another one to be honest. Let's proceed. As a stray bolt of lightning causes Ribbon and Pinto to switch bodies. Oh boy. Uh, Kyra smashes uh, Mains across the face with a brick, but Main shrugs off of the blow. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Panther runs away from a cornucopia. Elxis windmills her arms, charging into the arena. Eyes closed. What results is a path of destruction. And in its way, Kiku and David are obliterated. I think. Did I pick Kiku for first? I digress. And the sudden urge of dread overcomes Null as they notice Dawn staring at them. Um, Tsubasa runs away from the cornucopia. Pi finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Jacob takes up running start and Superman punches Tiger, sending her flying across the arena. Um, Alex, the lawyer, and Momo arrive to the games as a group but are penalized 50 luck because they are late. Golden smashes a healing potion over Delaware's head, simultaneously damaging and healing her. Murasaki runs away from the cornucopia, as does Takutel. Legault shoots a poisonous blow dart into Evelyn's neck, slowly killing her, and Atsumi refuses to fall in despair. There will be no double champion Evelyn today. That dream is dead. But day one sees <laughs> Golden, who just smashed <laughs> a healing potion, which was kind of anti-damage, uh, uses their attack on Delaware, the Mega Destruction Ball of Darkness and Destruction, <laughs> and it did no damage. <laughs> Golden's having a hard time beating anybody up. Well, Gold is, uh, have being sponsored by Asner of the 39th Dimension. Hate that. Uh, Cactus Juice is being drunk. Drinking? drink a tie. Drink, t drink, drunk. Uh, gobble, uh, gulp, gulp down by Taco Town. <laughs> he starts to hallucinate. Me too, I think. Pintos <laughs> becomes spherical. Spherical! The lawyer has drip. Pi gets his hand stuck in a can of Pringles. Absumi also has drip. Jacob. And Aeox has split up to search for resources. Uh, Alex makes a dirt statue. Pans knocks over the head. 
Uh, so Alex decapitates Pan and uses her head instead. Uh, geez Louise. Uh, Murasaki doesn't believe in palindromes. Subasa makes a poem for maintenance. Momo. Miss about the year of the ascent. Ribbon. And Null play tricks on Tigra while Don steals from her room. Tigra notices what's going on and in a fit of rage murders them all. Well, y'all don't steal. <laughs> As Kyra buys AV merchandise from AV's wares and his spares, we lost a few. And, uh, okay. Well, you know what I said? We lost a few. We lost a, lost a few more. A few more. And now at this fantastic restaurant. The tributes are all forced to work in the arena's new restaurant, Hanks. Let them cook. Tigra accidentally locked herself in the freezer. How chilly. Golden and Jacob eat all the ingredients they have before they even have a chance to cook. Momo attempts to finish her creme brulee. Unfortunately, the torch is set to the highest setting and she scorches the dish and Le Gault. Tragic. Takuto is kicked out of the kitchen for trying to mix Pepsi and milk. Deserved. Aeoxus is trying, <coughs> kicked out of the kitchen for the exact same thing, actually. Murasaki burned the salad she was trying to make. How? How does one burn a salad? The lawyer and Pai eat ice, I'm sorry, eat all the ingredients before they have a chance to cook. Subasa attempts to finish his creme boule. Y'all need to check your torch settings because the dish and now Alex are scorched as well. Atsumi cooks a five star meal. Pinto and Delaware are chopping vegetables together. While Pinto really gets into it, Delaware uses this opportunity to stab him. Oh my gosh. Cat down. Kyra is also kicked out and maintenance cooks a five star meal. What I was going to say was a pretty bloody day has turned even bloodier as nearly half of our competitors are out in a single day. Well, to say the least, it is a saddest of all moments for Kiku, David, Evelyn, Panther, Ribbon, No, Dawn, Tigra, Legault, Alex, Pinto. I think all of my picks are gone. <laughs> but you know what? It's 11 people, so I'm, I'm not the only one. Let's be honest. The whole first row, though? They're kind of goaded on that one. Subasa and the lawyer and maintenance in the second row. This whole third row? Uh, not so goaded. <laughs> uh, Aeoxus and Delaware, Kyra and Jacob all still in there. We still have, like, a, a 1 in, what, 13 chance? Uh, that we could see a chaos transfer. Will that happen is the real question. I mean, it might. <laughs> it's three more into your saving grace picks. At this rate, I assume we're probably going to get there, but who knows? Maybe we won't. It is night one. <laughs> we might get there. <laughs> oh, we, we might get there very quickly because Morisaki and Momo fight Takuto and Jacob. Morisaki and Momo survive Takuto Jacob out of this one. Kyra challenges Delaware to a dance-off. Delaware absolutely dominates. Aeoxus finds a secret stash of pancakes that I was hinting at. Don't do anything to my pancakes, Aeoxus. I'm watching you. Tsubasa grabs Kokichi by the throat apartment complex. Really? Golden finds it quite simple. Maintenance finds an extra sketch shows Pi the portrait made for him. Pi loves to kiss his maintenance on the forehead. The lawyer accuses Avi of not being the real Avi. You're my lawyer. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> As soon as ultimate move is fully charged, we'll proceed. To day two as Morsaki makes a slingshot. Tsubasa is in the wrong Hunger Games show. Kyra has drip. Golden tends to do a oh cool skateboarding trick, uh, trick, but ends up with his gut splattered on the pavement, which means it may be his own fault, but is indeed still a new champ alert. <gasps> Tragic. As Delaware becomes spherical, spherical Momo seems to be dead, but it's a lie. Aeox sets up an ice cream shack. Nobody comes. It would seem that Pi and Atsumi have come to a standstill in Tarzan's forest. And Maintenance is exposed to the lawyer's sensitivity aura, causing him to become more emotional. We lost the three that we needed to for saving Grace Fix. And so, it is indeed the saddest of all moments for Takuto, Jacob, Gold. See everybody's statuses. I'll do a control F alive just to double check. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, like, if I could spell alive, not Alice. We do indeed have 10 competitors left, a full set of 10. So I'm not going to go through and say, oh yeah, you have you, 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 and you, and then you and you. No, we actually have some new picks for you. And those picks, I've already said them. They're your saving grace picks. <clears throat> Everyone seems to be speed running right now. <laughs> They're like, it's a doubleheader. Let's get this one out of the way. Atsumi 
<clears throat> here to show the world. Relatively new to the Hunger Games competition, wants to be the one. Walk through here, take that title, and go wild with it. More sake. There are very few OCs, I believe, that we can honestly say you never count out X, Y, and Z. Morisaki is that OC. <laughs> She's in the top 10 you have to fear. Because you don't want to get in her way, she may steamroll you pie. Pie, 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 pie has had <clears throat> an interesting journey in these games. I believe, did pie, was pie the one who took out Arrow? Or was Arrow the one who took out Pi in their, their first game together? Uncertain, but Momo's hanging in there as well. Momo Rusakov. We love the Hreshen in there. Okay, now that my voice is de allergy let's take it a step back. We have Subasa still hanging in there, usually out early now, back in the fray, trying to win that title, go all the way. The lawyer. My lawyer, who doesn't believe that I'm me, and we'll talk about that later, but first win that championship maintenance. Has not been able to show everyone what a dominant force he can be. Will that change right now? RP Aeoxus is holding my pancakes hostage so I won't say a bad word about them. Delaware. Who I didn't jinx and I won't jinx now either. And Kyra. Who is a former champion. A former OC champion. And also will be competing. <laughs> will be competing um, at OC Revolution. I was going to say also as we look up. Um, Morisaki is the current. OC champion in the AWE. So we'll see how that all plays out. Could Murasaki walk out of this with two championships? We'll wait and see. I'm gonna make my picks for first. I'm gonna take the lawyer. Because I'm real, the lawyer. You should know how to counter my jinx, you know? You know? Uh, for a second, <laughs> I'm gonna take Momo Rusakov. I just always really like Momo's name, and I really love to say it. Uh, and lastly, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Morisaki. Because, I'll be frank, that's just a safe pick. <laughs> that's the safest pick in the world. That being said, it's a full final 10. A golden gone, but the championship does remain. I suppose the real question now is... Who... will walk out with said championship? Asumi. Murasaki. Pai Momo Subasa, the lawyer, maintenance, Aeoxus, Delaware, and Kyra. A full ten competitors, one hope, one wish to walk out with the gold, the same heartbeat, the same pulse, the same determination, and perhaps even the same fate as that of a samurai woman. Your final 10. A full set of 10. Let's see how this one plays out, and as we do so, it is. Night 2. Aeoxus bashes Mainton's head against a rock several times. Yikes. <laughs> the brick didn't work, but the, the rock sure did. Uh, that's the people's champ, I suppose. Atsumi <laughs> locks Delaware in a coffin, buries her alive, but Delaware managed to escape. Morisaki burns down Avi's wares and despairs. Uh, Morisaki's words was an accident, but the lawyer says that he saw Morisaki burn it down deliberately. Well, you know, since I'm not the real AV, I'm gonna believe Morisaki, the lawyer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Momo thinks about winning. Um, Kyra breaks Minecraft rule number one, dig straight down, plummets into lava. Well, yeah, my, that'll do it. Pi dyes their yellow. Pi is now blonde. And Subasa dyes his hair yellow as well. Subasa, uh, do they the blonde boys? <laughs> and it's the feast! And as the cornucopia is replenished with food, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families, Morisaki decides not to attend the feast, and neither does Tsubasa. Momo pushes Aeoxus off of a cliff during a knife fight, Atsumi's trap kills Delaware, and the lawyer tries to convince Pai that their steamed hams are homemade. Pai doesn't buy it, so the lawyer kills Pai instead. Jeez, we are down. <laughs> so many now! <laughs> In fact, we're down to your final five, I think, as we proceed one more time. The lawyer finds a water gun filled with holy wire fires that are Murasaki rather getting her wet. Atsumi drinks cactus juice, starts to hallucinate. Momo, that Momo can see the end of her eyes, and Hatsune Mikyu and Tsubasa are pricked by thorns while picking berries. It is your final five. Five are gone, and it is a terrible turnabout, actually. Four. Maintenance, Kyra, Aeoxus, Delaware. Pie. 
Five left in your final five we see. Atsumi, Murasaki, Momo, Tsubasa, and the lawyer. Momo's the one who's going strong right now, but it is anybody's game. Final five, who walks in to so oh, I'm sorry. To season so we 16. You gotta you gotta hit the so we you gotta go you gotta go down, you gotta go back up. <laughs> I'm tripping, but it is your final five, and within your final five, it is Atsumi, Morisaki, Momo, Subasa, the lawyer, all standing here. Wondering what fate has in store for them, because they know what's in your final five, a full set of final fives, that they are all caught in what we like to call a crisis. In championship action, a golden crisis of fate. Let's do it! Final five, Atsumi, Morisaki, Momo, Tsubasa, and the lawyer. We proceed again to C. To C, there we go. The lawyer gets hold of my soundboard and says, <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> it's Megalovania time! Oh no, don't do it. No, 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 no. You've done it! <laughs> the lawyer, what have you done? You know what this, this song does to people! Atsumi and Momo have a pose off. Momo wins. Morisaki's bitten by a black mamba, but Tsubasa has some anti venom and is able to save Morisaki's life. We proceed. Day 4 sees Momo panders to the audience. Atsumi's ready for the year of the Morisaki. That's every year, baby. Uh, for a moment, Tsubasa saw. Uh, I'd rather thought he saw Junko no Mama. Obviously, he was just seeing things. <laughs> right? And the Lord gets his hand stuck in a can of Pringles. We proceed again. Nobody perishes, but we can proceed yet again. We're still Megalovania up. Asumi tucks Morisaki in bed, gives him a good night kiss. Momo makes a hot stew for dinner before bedding down for the night, and the lawyer finds a laptop open in the Hunger Games simulator, sees the event where he dies through the simulation, Tsubasa stabs the lawyer, and that brings us down to four as Atsumi, Morisaki, and Momo. Well, their final four could end in a moment's notice, but it does not. Because Momo is purple thorns while picking berries. Morisaki uses a spell to suck the intelligence out of Atsumi, which shockingly works, leaving Atsumi literally dumbfounded. And Tsubasa wants to be a stepping stone for everyone else. We lost just the one. That is my lawyer, who will never question who I am again. <laughs> it's a terrible turnabout for you. The lawyer. Which brings us down to our final fours. Let's hear everybody's statuses. It is Atsumi, Murasaki, Momo, and Tsubasa. How does this story go? It's still a crisis of fate. Is it actually a crisis of fate this time? Because last time it immediately got switched. Let's find out. Final four. Let's, let's see it play out. <gasps> it is over! <laughs> well, I guess we're not saying who will it be because we know who it be. It is a championship draw. Because Atsumi and Morisaki die in Monokuma's test. And Momo and Tsubasa decide to challenge AV to a showdown and end the game on their own accord. They survive, they shake hands, and they both walk out as champions. Well, say it ain't so. They beat me down real good. And I said, alright, alright, you guys can both have titles. Fine, 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 fine. You're lucky I didn't have my, 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 my boxing gloves on. Then it would have been rated E for everybody. You would have lost, you would have been got. But... That's all she wrote. In fact, we go right to your winners, don't we? Because they took me down. Welcome to co-champions. Your winners. From districts three and four. No one truly expected a tie here. They only expected violence in a game that started off so violent. At the end, <laughs> it was camaraderie that won. Momo Subasa are not just your champions, they are your new. I'll say your new starting off season sweet 16 as Co OC champions. Once again, Momo Subasa. Agree to take down Avi, and together they take the win. And so, this is our result. 
in a game that was oh so bloody, it ended with camaraderie. Momo Subasa. Districts 3 and 4 worked together at the end there. Momo Rusakov, Subasa Yoshi, new Donnarapa Hunger Games OC Code Champions to kick off season so we 16. Congratulations to them, outlasting Morisaki and Atsumi at the end, who were also working together but failed in Monokuma's past. The Lawyer taking fifth, Pi taking sixth, Delaware seventh, Aoxus eighth, Kyra ninth, and running off your top ten was Maintenance Golden and Jacob, the current agent of chaos and now the former champion Golden, who had a good, good, good game, good game, almost got into the top ten too. Um, right next to each other, which is interesting. And <clears throat> Evelyn was in 22nd. Peep that. Because Evelyn's going to have to compete again in a second. <laughs> we got to get that tag team championship uh, up and over, too. We'll proceed once again at All Star with Aoxus windmilling those arms. Going round and round with those windmills, taking out Kiku and David immediately. David, who was the current uh, OC champion on the gentleman side, and it all ended with once again camaraderie. They tried to take me down, and luckily. They succeeded. Momo, Subasa, OC co-champions. Congratulations to them. Will we see something like that happen in the tag team championship match is about to go down? We could. We'll proceed one more again. We see, pardon me. We see Momo had four KOs. Rocked it today. Uh, Subasa had two. RPX has had three. So did Tigra. Uh, Murasaki with two. Once again, so did Subasa and Alex Atsumi, Delaware, Legault, and the Lawyer all with one. Congratulations to all of them. Um, we'll go back to the reaping, I guess. So that was our game. That was our, or rather, the start of our, our premiere for the OCs. <laughs> we are about halfway through because we're about to see if we're about to crown some new OC tag team champions or not. So I guess it'll be just a me and take it away. But first, one more congratulations to Momo and Tsubasa. And while you're waiting for that episode to get started, if you haven't entered, the OC submission box will be closing this Sunday. So get them in while you can. Get in there, yeah. Me, I guess again, <laughs> take it away. Well, thank you, me. I, I love it when that happens. And I'm here. And we won't waste any time. Tag Team Championships on the line. Toon Link Dave, Bravo Dave, Anomaly the Anomalikarish. Y'all already know. You you you're, you already saw an episode just now. So, like, I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna push the button. Are, are y'all cool with that? I'm... I'm gonna push it. It's Dawn on Rump Hunger Games! Sweet 16th season! Um. Rion and Evelyn, Chop Artist. Remember, it was winner take all. Rion uh, won both titles in the free for all episode. Um, and then they somehow, someway, actually still retain the tag team titles. An impressive feat. They look to do it again, and I probably shouldn't be saying all this about them yet, because we gotta go through all the teams, so I should've saved it for right now. <laughs> in fact, let's say it again! In the- <laughs> let's introduce our teams in the OC, um, free-for-all last season in season 15. Rion took the W, everything was on the line, and he walked out as a double champion, Evelyn by his side. He lost the singles title to Golden, but they were able to retain the tag team titles in an impressive feat. Will they do it again? Let's see. Earth, Science, Lynn, and Mona Lisa came so close but so far, looked to correct their efforts and place one place better than last time. And that one place better? That will win them gold. Big time plush. Now here's an interesting little tidbit. They came in third last time, but via the Agent of Chaos episode, they are your OC Tag Team Agents of Chaos. They will be wreaking a chaos on every single tag team this season, specifically the champions. What chaos will unfold, or will they just say, hey, no, we want to be champions instead? That's a possibility. Wait and see. Magic Show, once again. When I say it, there's only a couple OCs where like, you never count out X, Y, and Z, Romans. You don't ever count that man's out. Romans, you never count that man's out. Hiriko. 
is there as well. Also, don't count on Hiriko. Hiriko has done some some good work in the Hunger Games too. Don't keep them. Don't 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 miss. This team might not miss. You underestimate them for a moment's notice, and they might walk out with your titles. Romaz might get another tag team title reign. A monster mash. You do the monster mash. Michi and Helsing. Michi has been here for so long, has earned so much respect, and now wants to earn tag team gold. Helsing is looking forward to holding some gold himself. Huh? Even though it's, uh, it's, it's, it's what, it, the vampires is a wooden stake, it's not metal. Silver is the, the werewolves, I think. I don't know, I'm no monster expert, but I think I'm right. Go <laughs> Gaming convention Sai Killer is here to try and show the world what he can do along with Mochi. Mochi, a long-standing competitor, will these two be able to work together to win Tag Team Gold, and then we go onward and we see the teams who earn their spot in that Asian Chaos episode. Lastly, we have American Alpha, Naomi, and Avia teaming up together at the very end. Want to show the world what they can actually do. They've only gotten better in every appearance. Forever rivals, former champions as well. Tengi and Beta. Could they win it again? I'm gonna be real, they could. Unsolved Mysteries Apollo and Scary E. They're about to solve the greatest mystery, how to become champions? We'll see. Crime Hunters. Unsolved mysteries and crime hunters right next to each other is kind of goaded. <laughs> Yukine and Mei both here as well will. They be able to triumph over all the other teams. Well, we'll see. Custodial, uh, rather, custodial services. We have Gosh Gom and we have Skyland 8. Skyland, who served me very well as a janitor, wants to serve very well as a tag team champion janitor. <laughs> Along with Gashgam, whose name is far longer, but I refuse to say it other than the first time that we've said it. And lastly, Greenhouse Dolls. Once again, a tag team of two, uh, at this point, very notable OCs, Kitamura and Iris, who have been here once again for a long, long time, but they want to have something around their shoulders. Will tag team championships be what they grace around their shoulders? We'll have to wait and see, but we don't gotta wait too much longer. Make your picks teams. First, second, and third, I will make mine as well. But first, I'm gonna take a... The Monster Mash! You do the mash! You do the Monster Mash! And I think they're gonna do it in a ghost-like victory. They'll be here trying to mash monsters, but in the end, they'll be uh, becoming a monster. They'll be ghost. Uh, for second, I'm gonna take Forever Failures. So... I don't know what you're thinking. You're gonna jinx the Forever Failures! No, no, no. Forever failure is negative, Jinx negative, so that's a positive, they're gonna get up there. And for third, I'm gonna take American Alpha. Of course, I gotta pick American Alpha, it's, it's the homies, <laughs> we gotta do it! Naomi, you got this, AV, you got this, Tag Team Championships, you got this. AV has won the Tag Team Championships, well I mean, that Hunger Games AV has won a lot of championships actually. <laughs> but wants to win the Tag Team Championships again, will that happen? I mean, like, hey, let's not let's not waste any time. Let's find out, right? <laughs> let's do it. Let's proceed. Uh, well, well, hold on. Wait, actually, we should probably take take that and that away. Best of uh, <laughs> that would be a little bit of an unfair advantage. <laughs> now we can actually proceed. All right, here. Let's let's uh let's go in. Let's get the show on the road. We can't wait. We can't dilly. And, I mean, we could dilly and dally, but what 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 use would that be? We're gonna go we'll, we'll proceed. In fact, don't just proceed. Get out of here. Where where? Someone find me. Someone find me the horn bear. Someone find the horns. Did you find them? You did great. Huh? Thank you, horn bears. I appreciate it. Thanks for doing your part every single time. I would have never expected it. I probably should have because they they do the horn bearing all the time. But I mean, I I digress. <laughs> Let's proceed. As Michi tripped and fell in a bush, immediately finds Yeet Ball and Melody says, that's mine. Skyline tries to kill Rona, but Rona retaliates and kills him instead. Avi steals Melody's Yeet Ball and that will be the last thing he does. <laughs> Tengi manages to sneak attack Iris and Kitamura, slaughtering them both. Gary E has found a table, hoping it goes through it. Uh, Gashkam can't help but admire his own genius mind. Yukine wants to end things once for all with Avi. Avi bites the dust. And another Avi bites the dust. Two little mascots, Monolise and Tengi, uh, are doing battle. Well, not really, because Monolis actually just attacks Tengi from behind and murders him. I wouldn't call that a fair battle, it's just murder. Uh, and Evelyn is ready to give it her all and bust every other creation as Rion just wants it to end already. Apollo using Mysterious Cast to knock out the tag team champion Rion and Beta, former tag team champion, put death claws on the both of them. Helsing puts a death claw on a scary E while he's hunting. Rona does something really cute. Mochi finds a boombox to play some sick beats. Beta sets down a trap. Lin finds a skateboard time to do some sick moves. Uh, Naomi. 
Pixels you need flying in various places, but you need it because <laughs> AV is dead. Hiriko doesn't really launch it, but finds herself having to get rid of Michi. Dang. Romas finds some moon shoes not liable for broken ankles. We're not. Not at all. Sai Killer. This is a genius idea. And May steals my soundboard. Huh? How you do that? <laughs> We are down at six. We are down a quarter of the competition already. 20%, uh, 25% gone. But neither of the champions are out. So it's it's nowhere close to a new champion yet. It's just the saddest of all moments for. Skyland. Iris. Kitamura. Avi. Tengi. Michi. Well... Um, <clears throat> are you ready? Is the real question. Let's do it. Let's do it right here, right now. Let's do it to it. Let's proceed. Uh, no teams? I guess one team, uh, Greenhouse Dolls, I think, are out. No other teams completely out yet, but once again, if you're out, <laughs> if you're down, you're not technically out yet. Out, you know, there's ghosts, there's zombies, and there's boom boxes. <laughs> And as Mochi starts their boombox, Helsing, Romaz, and Beta gather around it. However, Mochi has rigged the boombox to actually go boom! Blowing up the unfortunate three souls. Rest in peace. Lin hates the way the comments have been treating them and turns heel. Let him in. Let them Lin. Uh, Monolith murders Yukine in front of May. There's nothing May can do. Scary. Uh, grabs his table, sets it up before grabbing Evelyn in a headlock. Scary E then slams Evelyn through the table. Rion, their only hope now. Uh, it started when an alien busted what it did to set himself upon his versus secrets that it hit. Now he's got superpowers, he's no ordinary kid, he's Apollo 10. <laughs> Which is a, kind of a dope name. Uh, I think you could, you could actually, like, like, replace the L and the O at the end to be a 1 and a 0, and I think that'd be a, a nice stylization as well. Psy Killer tries to build a tank out of 6 rocks, his use of looks cool. Naomi feels defeated after losing their teammate. They feel lonely. Naomi is... Let him in. May has a blank expression, seems unresponsive to what's going on. Rona is sick and tired of all the things and the others and turns heels. Um, Hiriko also has seen the heels running around and wants to turn face. So I was going to say there's heel and face action already in work here. Goshkom. One of the build a builder machine that makes Yakiniku. Rion looks up the tree and sees a mistletoe hanging above, and Melody hates the way the comments have been treating them. Turns heel. Melody said, I'm about sick and tired. Uh, where's the respect I deserve that I need? I'm aging to chaos now. <laughs> Don't at me! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the saddest of all moments for our Fallen Five. Helsing. Chromas. Beta. Yukine. Evelyn. Once again, it's anybody's game. We're actually down to 13 again. We were at 13 in the last episode, too. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Let's see how it all plays out, though. Final 13. Unlucky 13. Will we see if something terrible happen because of it? I don't think so. There's not a whole bunch of items that could cause terrible misfortune to a large amount of people. Uh, yeah, just a couple people, see? Lin brings Mona Lisa and Farag before whispering in their ear, You mean nothing to me. And then Lin slams Mona Lisa to the ground, walking off alone. Inside this pit of danger. Boom, da -da -da -da. Uh, Iris is dead. May using Bashir's axe to knock out Mel Melody and Naomi. Death Callers on the both of them. Melody knocks out Hiriko and a fist by Death Caller on her. Okay, well, now I'm seeing a lot of Death Callers, so we might see. <laughs> we might see some shenanigans in that and that front. Molly finds a bike. Well, I mean, we're contractually obligated to play this after we find a bike, unless your name is XSP, which I don't think we did it for him, uh, because that's funny. Okay, <laughs> scary wasn't looking and fell right off a cliff. Mochi practices their dance move. Monolith tries to kill Rion, but Rion's milk still shines and the two kiss and make up. Apollo transforms into a mash of fish like alien with a powerful jaw in the middle of the forest. Not the most useful choice. Naomi beats Goshkom mercilessly with a shovel, whispering, Let him in before delivering the final blow. Goodness gracious. Rona's had enough and is now enraged. And Hiriko fights for the truth, honor, and justice. Hiriko has become a super Hiriko. And Psykiller actually builds a tank out of sticks and rocks? Awesome! Within our final 11, if he uses that? That's crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. Will he use it, though, is the real question. We're getting down into the weeds of it, into the thick of it, and it is a terrible turnabout. Or rather, a saddest of all moments for. No! <laughs> no, no, no! I said saddest of all moments, not saving grace picks of all moments!
Scary E. Goshkong. Well, just like that, we're 11. Uh, I don't really want to go to details, because I'm assuming we're going to lose one next round. Um, so I think we should just go on. You see most of the people. A couple teams are still completely in. That's something to make note of. Uh, for the record, Earth Sciences are still completely in. I know our OC Tag Team Agents of Chaos are completely in. Um... Mochi's still in, so Gaming Convention is completely in. There's a lot of teams, or a couple teams, rather, that are still completely in. Let's see how the rest of this plays out, though. I'm, I'm at, the, at the very least, I'm curious. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's proceed. 11 left. One more until your saving grace picks. Will we get that one? We definitely get that one. <laughs> in fact, we also get a new champ alert. May puts his death on Rona while she's asleep. Naomi starts chanting, He's got the whole world. In his hands, and Melody steals Psykiller's tank while he's asleep. Will not get a chance to use it. Rion tries to make his collar look fashionable, but it don't work out because Lin doesn't know how to skateboard, but does know how to swing one around. Hiriko, Naomi, and Rion are caught in the path of destruction, and they do indeed perish, causing a new champ alert. <laughs> My goodness. In fact, I don't think there's any full teams in anymore. <laughs> Miles thinks about what she did up here. Iris is back as a ghost, keep that in mind. Uh, Cycler just found a laser gun, pew pew, all over the place. Uh, vicious Tiger Mochi. Uh, well, it was shaking his paw and rides into the arena, that's crazy. Apollo, actually there is one full team completely in a, a Mochi and Cycler. Uh, Apollo transformed into an alien with a body as hard as diamond, proceeds to headbutt Lin and Melody, killing them both, as the Archon C, Griffith, and Rona grant her a Dendro Vision, which could be a game changer. Final six, no more tanks in play, but you do get to make some new picks after the saddest of all moments for Hiriko, Naomi, Rion, Lin, Melody. You gotta keep in mind <laughs> It is anybody's game, and honestly, it's crazy because Iris, who was out super duper early, um, her team, her whole team actually got out super duper early, is the one who's back as a ghost. Does that change how you're gonna make your picks? I mean, I don't know. I, you can go and tell me about it. If you need some new picks, I, I, I might let you make them. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's on you. And we'll call them your saving grace picks. From Earth Science, she was kicked off of her own team, but maybe she can bring them back together with the power of victory. Mona Lee stands alone. Um, Unsolved Mysteries, Apollo still hanging in there. Uh, Apollo came back from a long, long, long hiatus out of nowhere back in this one. Will the profiler be able to win this game? As we scroll down, we still have, from big time pleasure, Agents of Chaos, Rona. Rona, could Rona win? <laughs> could we see a Chaos transfer and tag team action off the bat in the premiere? Never happened before, we could see it today, but on the other hand, a spooky ghost in the greenhouse doll still sees Iris. Iris can possess anybody who's dead, but we'll see if it happens. Gaming Conventions, on the other hand, I believe has a 1 in 3 shot to take the titles because they're both in. Gaming Conventions, Psykiller, and Mochi. Will that unfold? We'll see. Uh, and May! May, who's still shell shocked after what happened, but does have that soundboard, which can be a very powerful item. Those are your final six. Let me know, live chat, who do you got? First, second, third, in terms of your teams? I mean, the wisest choice is probably gaming conventions, but you know what? I think that they're not gonna clutch up and take it. I'm gonna take Rona for first, Chaos Transport. I'm gonna take May for second, and I'm gonna take for third. Mochi. Those are my easy, easy peasy picks. I don't know how it's going to play out because we could still see more ghosts pop up, we could see some zombies. In fact, I don't believe this game is close to being over, I think we're about to see some real shenanigans. <laughs> I expect real shenanigans live chat, I know that y'all have made it in the comments, I hope you made it too. And if you somehow made it this far and you're not subscribed already, what you doing? Do, do the thing, push, push the button, all the YouTubers say that, so I'm going to say it too. <laughs> Without further ado, we are within your final six, so we're not your final five yet, which means we do get to hear this. Second verse, same as the first, your final six competitors. With Iris as a ghost, we have Rona, Apollo, Mochi, 
Saya Killer. Hey. And last but not least, Mona Lisa. Final six. One wish they want to walk out with their partners, tag team champions, but their hearts beat with the same pulse, the same determination, and perhaps even the same fate as that of a samurai woman. Let's make it happen. Final six. Will it all end next round is the real question. No. But we do see a possession. And a climate change remote, so there's some crazy shenanigans already happening as Apollo transforms into a massive four-armed alien, toss a side killer into the sky, to the moon, which means now Mochi carries on for the team, no full teams left. Uh, Rona wraps vines around Apollo, tying up their whole body. Apollo's now trapped, keep that in mind as well, he's got the Omnitrix, but he can't really use it to its greatest abilities. Monolith finds Avi's climate change remote? What mayhem will they unleash upon the tributes? This is Earth science at its finest, she's gonna teach! <laughs> Mace sits there with a blank stare, still, still shell-shocked. And Iris has found the corpse of Beta possesses it. Iris is now possessing Beta, while Greenhouse Dolls instead lead former champions forever rivals to victory. There's a shot. <laughs> but for right now, it is a terrible turnabout for... Psy Killer. And I mean kinda Iris, Iris is possessing somebody. Which means we are a net loss of zero, so it is still Samurai Woman. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna walk out of this one? The climate change remote worries me, but should it? Uh, no, it won't. It shouldn't worry me. <laughs> because now we are down to four. As Mochi gets caught in one of Beta's traps, now all he can do is hope to be freed. In fact, we have two trap competitors. <laughs> Someone who's shell-shocked, but not anymore. Is Apollo still trapped, screams for help, nobody answers, May snaps out of it, Beta won't die like the others, and then dies unlike the others because Rona, who's so mad, steam coming out of her ears causes a fire, trapping, killing Beta and Monolis in the flames. We are down to your final four, and at this juncture, it is Mochi, trapped, Apollo, trapped, May, who's no longer shell-shocked, and Rono, who's mad. But that does take us away to your final four, and after this saddest of all terrible turnabouts for Beta Monolis. Well, I just told you who's left. <laughs> you already know, and you know there's situations once again. Mochi, who's trapped. Apollo, who's trapped. May, who's no longer shell-shocked, may have snapped out of it at the most opportune moment. But we also have Rona, who's completely furious. And the four of them are all caught in what we like to call within our final five in championship action, a golden crisis. Of fate. I don't know how this is going to play out. I never do. <laughs> so we'll see. Final four. Mochi trapped. Apollo trapped. They could get themselves untrapped. Will it happen, though? Oh, no, it's not going to happen for Apollo. No, it did happen for Apollo. And he still died. <laughs> Apollo pulls himself out of the trap, <laughs> goes to put a death collar on the other person who's trapped. <laughs> it's in a crazy, a crazy day for Apollo. May just watches it all go down. <laughs> As the secret team of music is like, oh, well, they're like, yep, that'll do. And Apollo tells Rona to have a nice day. Rona screams, don't tell me what to do before killing Apollo in a rage. Apollo, <laughs> hey, you didn't win, but you had yourself around. <laughs> <laughs> he had a bad day. <laughs> oh man, it hit the it hit the the terrible turnabout for. He had a bad day and he did the do do. That is a song is for Apollo. <laughs> we got three left. Um, uh, Mochi was still trapped. If if the same thing happens to you, Mochi, <laughs> I might <laughs> I might scream. <laughs> Because that would be so funny. Uh, May, with the soundboard, keep that in mind, also a revival item in its state. And uh, Rona, who's still very angry, but anger does kill. We'll see if it kills this game, and it's still a crisis of fate. Final three, we all know, could end in a moment's notice now. One event could kill two people, three people. We could see revivals. We could see anything happen. It doesn't end yet. May, 
becomes heroic, fights for what she believes, or fights for what they believe in. Rona <clears throat> finds a dapper suit, puts it on, and Mochi's still trapped, can't do anything. Ooh. Rona's grumbling angrily. May's patrolling vigilantly. <laughs> Mochi's bleeding <laughs> horribly. <laughs> we go next round, and we see Rona summons massive vines. Don't forget that Rona had the Dendro Vision with thorns around May bleeding them dry and Mochi's trapped and bleeding out very, very slowly. Right now, all the stars are aligned to see our very first tag team <laughs> Chaos Transferal in OC action. Will it happen though? <laughs> we can't count Mochi out yet, so it's a terrible turnabout for. May. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. It is Rona versus a bleeding out, <laughs> bloodied, battered, and beaten up Mochi. <laughs> well, live chat, I'm gonna ask you who's gonna, who, who's gonna be. <laughs> that is the question I have for you. Mochi, Rona. Rona, who's mad and has been just embracing the chaos, so keep that in mind. Do keep that in mind, you guys. Keep in mind that Mochi, <laughs> well, is is bleeding out and slowly bleeding out, but like Rona is still angry and anger kills. We've seen it do it, we've seen it happen countless times. Will Rona be able to survive that anger while Mochi perishes or will Mochi outlast the anger? That's the game we're playing right now and admittedly, I think it could go either way. So live chat, will it be Mochi, Rona, big time plush, gaming conventions. Final two, one last shot. Let's find out how it all plays out. Or will we see Ghost? Will we see any sort of other uh, bringing back to life events, revival events? I think it's time we find out. Next round screams, it's all over. Chaos Transferal is real because. Rona in that dapper suit, so proud of it. But. Mochi finally dies from the blood loss caused by the trap he was in, which means after this terrible turnabout for Mochi. Well, <laughs> I, uh, there's <laughs> things have happened. <laughs> it's the first time this has happened in OC tag team action, but I can say with certainty that hey. They did it. <laughs> they rocked it. It is your new. It was season sweet 16. Rona teaming up with Melody. They were a duo who did good work every time that they showed up. They became agents of chaos, but then they said, why become agents of chaos when we could be at the top of the mountain? And that's exactly what they did. They proved that they were the ones, no matter if it's a chaos game or a championship game, they said, season, so we 16 is their season. It is Rona Melody, big time plush, your new, say it, your new Dong on Rampa Hunger Games OC Tag Team Champions. It's the only life you got, so you gotta live it, big time, plush. Uh, but, but also, <laughs> because they were your agents of chaos, that chaos goes somewhere. Clearly upset over the loss of their tag team championships, Rion and Evelyn are not too happy. Not too happy in the slightest. And they want those titles back. And so, Rion and Evelyn are now your agents of chaos. Oh, it's true. It is indeed true, Agent of Chaos transferal tag team action for the OCs is real. And it happened thanks to Big Time Plush. They are on the top of the mountain. 
They are living it big time. Congratulations to your new champions, Melody and Rona. Good on them, proud of them. I always said that's my favorite name for this, <laughs> this season. And we had some good names this season too. Congratulations to them. Mochi came so close with the blood. It was too much. Blood out is the last thing you could do. That being said, Rona had five KOs, Mochi with three, Lin with three, Apollo with three, uh, Tengi, Mona Lise with two, Yukine, Hiriko, Naomi, and Scary E with one. Uh, Naomi, that's on me. <laughs> that's on that's on Hunger Games AV. He got out real quick. <laughs> he was out. Lickety split. <laughs> That is this game. I'm gonna take off this jacket because it's getting uh, a little bit warm yonder these parts again But once again, let me remind you this Sunday Donger up a hunger games OC submissions day close So if you want to see magical moments like this happen with potentially your OC's Oh, you better get in there. You better get in there. Yeah, yeah, um on the beaten path starts next week. Uh, first, uh, we'll be on a tape delay. Everyone, uh, every other one will be live, so it'll be fan, fine and fantastic. Uh, but last but not least, tomorrow is the fantastic return of you know him, you love him, Dirk Madison, which means OC Revolution will be tomorrow. AWE presents it, Dirk Madison hosts it, and it's gonna be a fun time just like it was last time. It'll be live here on YouTube and on Twitch at the same time. That's, what kind of magic, what kind of sorcery is this? Of course it will be. We have some OCs that were in this game, maybe? We have, it. yes, at least one OC from this game, I've already peeked. Um, that will be there tomorrow. We have some OCs from the first game today that will be here tomorrow. We have OCs from all over. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm so excited. So check it out. Into your OCs for the Hunger Games and be sure to be here tomorrow for OC Revolution. Until then, to the loop like through. Thank you for watching.